the Ministry of Health, Wellness, and Elderly Affairs in October 21st to 22nd, 2023, collaborated with Veterans in Sports, Inc. for the Cake for a Cure initiative. The program, strategically held in the month of October, aims to raise awareness and support breast cancer programs. During the sporting event, health educators and responders profited the opportunity to health education and cancer screenings. The World Health Organization reports that 74% of deaths are due to chronic <coughs> non-communicable diseases. On a local level in St. Lucia, NCDs are estimated to account for 82% of all deaths in 2019, with cancer contributing to 16% of that number. Breast cancer is the main cancer affecting women globally and in country. Health education, promotion, and continuous <coughs> awareness allows prevention, early detection, and improves outcome for those affected. The Ministry of Health cannot do it alone, of course. The importance of the multi-sectoral approach to successfully address the determinants of health that drive the NCD epidemic cannot be overstated. Chief Medical Officer Dr. Sharon Belmar George congratulated Veterans in Sports Inc. for the Kick for a Cure initiative, which she says provides a platform to raise awareness on men's health. Dr. Belmar George asserted that based on data, men are less likely to access health services and visit healthcare providers for screening. In 2019, the Behavior Risk Factor Survey showed insufficient physical activity among the populace with a prevalence of 17.1% of men spending less time than women participating in physical activity. Through our collaboration in October 2023, during the Kick for a Cure program, our health teams were able to carry out health education and screening and raise awareness for breast cancer on a community level. This facilitated the implementation of prevention and also early diagnosis. On another note, the Veterans Sports Inc. we note your focus on sports development from 2011. I wish to acknowledge the contribution of your organization to increasing physical activity through sports. This is on par with the St. Lucia Moves National Program. Alvin Malikan is the CEO of Veterans in Sports, Inc. Together with support from the Ministry of Health and Faces of Cancer, they established Kick for a Cure. The initiative, in its fourth year, has helped raise a significant monetary contribution to Faces of Cancer, which the CEO says represents a symbol of support to those afflicted with the disease. Malikan says the aim of the organization is to provide opportunities for people to participate in safe, healthy, and inclusive sporting activities while creating a space for sports development. Kick for a Cure is a special event held in the month of October where the organization and its participants show support for the promotion of cancer awareness among the populace. Kick for a Cure turned four. It started off as barbecues and other small fundraising activities. Back then, the event was small, but the need to help was big as it is today. It is because of this I can honestly say that we have put greater emphasis and resources towards this event, as we know the good that can be done and the number of lives that can be impacted in a positive way. Today, I'm honored to announce our contribution to this noble cause. Through the generosity of Veterans in Sports, Inc., we are proud to donate $5,000 to Faces of Cancer. Elated with the contribution made by Veterans Sports, Inc., is recipient of Faces of Cancer St. Lucia, the president, Dorothy Phillip. She says this contribution will assist with the expansion of the outreach program. Most importantly, and where I know these funds will be going to, is our health fairs. Um, because we've been trying to increase the amount of health fairs we do every year. Our aim was to do 12, but we have been stuck at five because of the cost involved. So I think we're making a difference when it comes to 
getting the cancers at an early stage, and I would really like to see us in the very near future reach our 12 Belfairs a year, which we are aiming to do. I know that's a tall order, but for me, nothing is impossible. The more people we help and the more people we can screen early enough, the better the chances of them beating this thing. And it will also lessen the burden of cancer on St. Lucia on the whole. The Ministry of Health calls for more coordination and public-private partnerships to increase avenues for support in the detection, diagnosis, and treatment of non-communicable diseases. Reporting for the Ministry of Health, I am Jade Brown.